Hey fellow backyard boyers, Nick here. Now, today I'm going to be making a copper bopper. Now this is a bopper that was made by Jim Keffer. He's the webmaster of the Puget Sound Nappers and he makes some really nicely weighted and really pretty copper boppers. But the first one I owned was one that I had made and it was very simple. Just a dowel rod for a handle but the main thing that's similar is the domed copper cap. Now this is a lead filled copper bopper so we're going to be working and melting lead. So if you don't want to be working with lead because you know there's a lot of adverse health effects with working with lead you can pick these up online for about six dollars a piece. They're not expensive so if you don't want to actually make it yourself they're fairly inexpensive to buy and I'll put some links in the description for some of the places that I like to buy flint napping supplies from. So to start I'm going to be using a three quarter inch copper plumbing cap. So this is actually a one inch diameter cap because the three quarter is the nominal size. So I've got a small ball peen hammer. I'm going to place this on top. You could also use a dapping block but this is good if you don't have something like that. And you just want to take your hammer and just start forming this cap around the ball peen hammer to get a nice dome shape. And there it is. So you can see now we've got a nice domed cap. So now I'm just going to use a file to level off the bottom of the cap. Now that the bottom is pretty much flat, I'm just going to put a little bevel at the bottom so there aren't any sharp edges. Now I'm just going to take a piece of 100 grit sandpaper and clean out the inside. And another thing I'm doing is scratching up the inside so that it will glue onto our handle a little better. Now that the cap has been shaped, I've gone ahead and placed it in my vise. I've made sure to level it off. And now I'm going to be melting some lead. This is 45 grams of hardened wheel weight lead. This is the type of lead that they use for balancing out car wheels. Jim Keffer, the webmaster for the Puget Sound Nappers, suggests using this because it doesn't deform as easily as normal soft lead. So this can be really dangerous, so you want to do this in good ventilation. I'm going to be wearing a respirator. I'm going to heat this up with a torch and then pour it into my cap. So here we go. Make sure to heat up the cap before you pour. While that's cooling, we can go ahead and start working on our handle. So here's my handle. It's just a 5 inch piece of dowel. I like a 5 inch handle because it gives me a little more leverage than a shorter one. So now I'm going to go ahead and use my rasp and just round off the back end so it's comfortable to hold in the hand. Alright, looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and just sand this smooth to about 220 grit and then we can attach the cap onto the handle. Now when you choose a dowel you want to make sure that it just barely fits into your cap. You want it to be very snug because we can drive this in a little bit and the cap will stretch but if it's too loose Glue is not really going to hold this together very well. So it's a good fit. It will go in. So I'm just going to put some epoxy in here. And I'm just going to drive this in and let them set. Alright, I've gone ahead and put epoxy in there. I'm just going to drive this in. 
Now I'm just going to use a mallet to drive it in. So now I'm just going to let that cure and we're all finished. Alright, here's the bumper that we made. The glue's set, so now it's ready to go. I've got a piece of dacite or dacite. It's basically just a slightly more waxy version of obsidian, but it's still volcanic glass. And I'm just going to work this down into something real quick just to kind of demonstrate this bumper. So, here we go. So now I'm just going to finish this up with our pressure flakers and put a couple of notches in it. So here's the point all finished up. I think it turned out pretty nice. Now I wish it had been bigger, but I should have switched to something a little bit smaller like this as opposed to this, which is good for all of your sort of medium work. But when you get to your finished product, you really want something smaller like this. And this is a half inch cap. But here it is. If you have any suggestions for other things you'd like to see me make, please let me know in the comments below. If you like what I'm doing, be sure to check out my channel for other videos like this. And I've also written several books on different topics, and I'll put links to those in the description below. And before I go, I'd like to give a huge thanks to everyone who's supporting me on Patreon. It's because of you that I'm able to continue doing videos like this. If you'd like to join the Patreon family and support the channel directly, I'll put a link to the Patreon page in the description below. So as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!